Dead Rising is a mature rated game containing some adult language and gore. You have been warned. Hey everyone, I'm Grand Hall and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Rising. Uh, today's episode, uh, well, we have nothing to do. Yeah. So, you know what? Let's go back... Oh, s cutscene. So, now that the jamming device is down, Jesse was able to call DHSHQ. So surely they're going to send some people in to help us, because they need to secure the homeland. But, anyway, uh, let's head up to the security room and see if Jesse needs any help. That's the gentlemanly thing to do, after all. <laughs> uh, I love taking out multiple zombies with a single strike. Uh, so, yeah, heading up to the security room. Killing zombies as we go. Ah, Lego! <coughs> Lego again! Oh, another cutscene. So, <clears throat> Jesse says that she called HQ, and they're sending in special forces ASAP to uh, do cleanup. And they're going to take everyone out of here. Well, take everyone out. Not necessarily of here. Zombies, survivors, everyone. Which, due to the ambiguous wording, I'm going to s take to mean that they're going to save us all! Hooray! Even the zombies. Less hooray. <laughs> Shotgun. I hear a queen. I really want a queen. Uh, I have reason to really want a queen right now. Very good reason, in fact. Which you guys will see before too much longer. Just another couple videos. Well, probably just another video. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Heading back to the security room. To see if Jesse needs any help. Ha ha. Okay. <laughs> now that the path's clear, we get to go down to the maintenance tunnels. Good old maintenance tunnels. Good old movie land. There was a cult in there, you know. I'm not a communist! Hey, I'm, I'm not a communist. Okay. And... <laughs> Kicking people. Headed to the truck. Come on! Come on! that I had disembowel. That, that would be really useful coming up. But, oh well. For now, I have to condemn 
content myself with having swords. Which, to be fair, swords are pretty nice. Especially when they cut things in half. Like that! Straight down the middle! Ha 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 ha! Uh, death and destruction. Hilarious. Uh, almost back to the maintenance tunnels. Or security room. Not not maintenance tunnels. Oh, another cutscene. So, a special forces type uh, offered to let Jesse go if she signed an NDA, and her response was to rip his throat out after turning into a zombie. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that was a no. But you know what? I figured Jesse would not want to be a zombie. So, we're, we're going to go put a shotgun shell in her head. So, up here. Cutscene? Frank heard gunfire through the vents. Yep. And another cutscene! So, Frank found the remains of these two special forces types. There's a note on the table. Oh, I guess there's a note from Otis. took all the people, stole a helicopter, and got out. They didn't survive! I've never read this note before. Now, I've never read this note before, and I, I always figured that the special forces types killed everyone. But they got out! Yay! Ah! So, one of the more disturbing achievements. Perfect. Picture of Zombie Jesse. Sorry, Zombie Jesse. And now the security room is totally empty. Except for a couple dead bodies. But I guess her turning means that uh, she did, in fact, get bitten by Dr. Barnaby. subsequent playthroughs, there are items over here based on what achievements you got in previous playthroughs. But, uh, yeah. I, uh... I think it's probably a good idea to go back to the hideout with Isabella. Probably a good idea. So I'm gonna do that. Because it seems like a good idea. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, yes. Going forward. Also, hey, not a fan of zombies getting up when I shoot them. Back into Paradise Plaza. Hopefully getting the maintenance tunnels before our special forces act oh crap. Hopefully getting back to the maintenance tunnels before special forces actually get here. Heh. Heh heh heh. Probably not, but you know. Hope springs eternal.
par before Special Forces arrive? No, I did. What do you know? Anyway, zooming up to the North Plaza again. But first, a cutscene of Special Forces arriving. So Special Forces arrived and entered at the entrance plaza, appropriately enough. See, where am I? I did not want to turn there. And started shooting zombies dead with assault rifles. Or dead. Er. Oh, dang it. Something's caught under my vehicle. Dang. I have to get a new one now. Uh, <clears throat> I can't take Carlitos. He wrecked it. So, I'm down here. Actually, there might be another one of the original. Hey, there is! Awesome! Haha! It's because there was a loading screen and the whole area loaded again. Anyway, so, zooming along here. And back to the North Plaza. And scuffing up the paint on the car as we do so. Yay, level 9 control distance increased. It's what I've always wanted, ever since I was a little boy, to level up and have my throw distance increase. Killing a few more zombies so I can get out of the car a little bit more safely. There we were kind of forced to take the stairs. Oh well. Special forces types are shooting zombies. Ah, look out, look out! Ow! Special forces types are also shooting me! This is gonna suck! Whew! Away from oh dear. Let him get away! Let him get away! Haha, -ha, heal. Yeah, when special forces arrive, it's it's a bad day. It's a very bad day. So, time to hope they don't What the oh. The hunting knife got stuck under the bike and forced the bike to not be able to move. I call shenanigans. Ow. Okay. So. I don't like getting swarmed by zombies like that. Anyway, uh, getting a couple shotguns, because I can. And... Ah, this is the one that's almost empty. Well, not almost empty, but less than full. Isabella's saying right there is pretty much exactly what she said in the cutscene. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. We've got to survive. I suppose Frank is suggesting just laying low until help <laughs> leaves. But, that's it for this episode. I'm Granhull. See you next time.